He learned to ask his family to help him reboot when needed. Soon, Robbie's good days outnumbered his bad days. Going to therapy and talking out a problem with a licensed professional can be helpful, but maybe not for children with communication disorders. Some of these children, when I first met them, they wouldn't, you know, the one child wouldn't even talk to me. He would just sit beside me. And so then I tried to use some play therapy with him and stuff, but he did love to have stories read to him. So that's what got me the idea of what a great way of reaching him is through a therapeutic story. There were no children's books that related to the kids she was trying to help. I think what happened was when the therapeutic stories were started, um, there was a real focus on using them with children with abuse because it was a way to address the abuse without making the child have to constantly talk about it. And then kids with ADHD, you know, they have trouble sitting still, trouble focusing. So it was a real good way to reach them because a lot of times you can engage them. But I think um, nobody ever then expanded about what else could these stories be used for? It kind of got stuck just addressing those two areas. So Shelton wanted to start using stories to assist in different situations for children who have trouble finding the right words. When I tried to find therapeutic stories that had to do with communication problems, I couldn't find any. There was a lot for children who had been abused, children with ADHD, children with trauma, but not. I could not find any with children with communication problems. So I decided to write my own. Robbie the Robot was published in January, and Shelton has seen the impact of her book already. So I've used the book in practice with several different children. In fact, um, I've started just carrying a copy with me at all times because um, the other day I had a child who I didn't really think about him having a communication disorder as you would normally diagnose one, but he was really distracted that day, so I happened to pull it out and read it to him. And I allowed him to take a copy home with him. And he said to mom, he goes, I'm just like the robot. Sometimes the words just don't come out for me. And it got me thinking about the fact that a lot of kids, regardless of their circumstances, sometimes have difficulty identifying their feelings, talking about their feelings, even if they have no real communication disorders. Shelton says it was a proud moment to see her own words published. I almost cried because it was like he finally came, Robbie was finally alive. He had a face and he had colors and he, it, it was really, and to see it, the book finished and to see my name on it. And hopes that Robbie's story can not only help children, but also help adults and families to understand what life is like for them. I hope it will help people when they see a child that's struggling to communicate and getting really frustrated and all you see is that frustration. I hope it'll make them realize that there's probably something behind that frustration and help them realize that sometimes these kids need extra time and extra help.